What's up, Harry Potter fans? While it's been years since the last book and movie came out, we're still huge fans of the franchise, even if the author's been in hot waters for quite some time. In this video, we're throwing it back to old cousin Dudley's actor, Harry Melling, who recently opened up about his weight loss with the world. So stick around until the end of this video to know all about it. First up, Harry Melling's dramatic weight loss. While the Dursleys weren't exactly a favorable bunch to be around, cousin Dudley might have been the only one to get a pass for being at least somewhat tolerable. After all, he was a child heavily influenced by his parents' behavior for how they treated the boy who lived, so there's really not much that you can blame the kid for. Played by one of the most talented actors in Britain, Harry Melling has definitely come a long way since becoming famous in 2001. Back then, most people knew him as the chubby little Dudley Dursley, who was perhaps just a little too spoiled by his parents. As kids, we probably hated him for being mean to Harry, but if you revisit those movies again, even the books, we're sure you might want to rethink those emotions. Anyway, back to Harry. So while it's been a while since we've seen a heavier side of Melling. At age 33, the actor looks absolutely nothing like the spoiled, overweight cousin who almost always had a scowl on his face. In fact, back in 2019, when photos of him resurfaced looking all fit and fab, not to mention extremely happy, many people credited his transformation to a healthier lifestyle. According to the actor, he dropped four stones and five pounds, which makes for about 60-ish pounds, and also shared that the reason he put on the weight in the first place was that he got bored. He mentioned that he was a pretty active kid and used to dance, but it was eating that he really enjoy. Don't we all, Harry? Up next, the actor says it wasn't a conscious decision to lose weight. Even though he realized that his eating habits were a bit too unhealthy, it wasn't a conscious decision to lose weight. And while it seems intentional, that's actually not how it happened at all. Back when the actor was 15, he played the role of a fat old man at the National Youth Theater, and that kind of put things in perspective for him. He's previously played other roles where his characters were fat, and that made him think to himself that if he wanted a career he would like, he'd have to lose weight. Now, sprinkling a little body positivity in here, being a certain size in no way reduces or alleviates your value as a person. Our bodies, no matter what size or shape, house our souls and allow us to enjoy the gift that's life. And if unhealthy practices make it hard for our bodies to give it their all in letting us live our lives, then it's understandable if people want to turn over a new leaf and lose some weight. So as mentioned before, while the 33-year-old actor did admit that he knew he had to lose weight to diversify his acting portfolio, the whole process of losing weight wasn't as intentional. In fact, Melling says that he has no control over that narrative. He just went to drama school and lost weight, and that was basically it. He also revealed that people are somehow always fascinated by his situation, and when they ask him why or how he slimmed down, it doesn't interest him because it wasn't a conscious decision to shed weight like that. Coming up, Melling says that people look at him differently now that he's lost weight. Obviously, the way this world works is kind of horrid. Actually, scratch that, it is horrid. So, it's not shocking that people have had their own opinions about his dramatic transformation. In fact, it's really sad that the way people perceive humans depends so much on looks, rather Rather than what lies beyond them. Sure, there's been a shift in this behavior, but for people who lack self-awareness, it's painfully obvious how their demeanors change when they approach a person who's skinny as compared to someone who's fat. Even the modeling industry is plagued with this narrative. While there's been an increasing trend towards plus-size models and expanding towards a plus-size industry, chasing unrealistic body standards in order to look pretty and perfect is also something that still happens regularly. Unfortunately for him, Melling has also been a target of such a divisive response. As we talked about earlier, Harry recalls people being fascinated by his efforts to lose weight. But while there was applause, some of the press, at the time of his initial weight loss in 2009, were downright cruel and remarked that the actor no longer had piggy eyes and double chins anymore. The Harry Potter actor played the role of Dudley when he was around 10 years old. And when you factor that in, and how he was physically, and how his heavy appearance was something the writer used to hook audiences in, it's really sad to think that the actor was reduced to being his fat character and nothing more. That's obviously got to take a toll on someone who just wants to pursue their passion, especially when you're just a little kid yourself. Moving on, speaking of Harry Potter, the author of the franchise is Rowling in the Deep. We're pretty sure you're all pretty up to date with what's going on with the controversy surrounding J.K. Rowling in the past couple of years. And if not, then don't worry, we're here with our best recap. While the author might have penned down our favorite magical place, it's utterly disappointing to see her comments against the trans community. As an author, the careful use of language is more than just a gift. It's actually a responsibility that you have to shoulder, especially for a person like Raleigh, who's one of the most influential writers in the world. For her to be callous about a marginalized community that already suffers so much at the hands of prejudice, it's incredibly disappointing that she would seemingly erase their identity with her aloof statement. Back in June 2020, in a response to an article that mentioned people who menstruate, Joe went ahead and quoted saying that she's sure there's a word for those people. She then went on to spin the word woman to wombin, wimpened, and womud. Just like that last one, she was dragged through the mud online for her statement. She later tried to 
put the fire out and mentioned that she's always felt a kinship towards the trans community, and then went on to tweet about turf wars, which made matters worse for her. People now crucify her for not being sensitive to the trans community, while Rowling remains steadfast that she's supportive of them. Up next, we'll talk about how Harry Melling feels about the controversy. Obviously, when you're related to J.K. Rowling in any way, you're indirectly affected by her remarks, good or bad. This controversy attracted a lot of criticism from fans and even non-fans worldwide, and many of the actors from the franchise were reached out to by people so they could weigh in on the whole thing. In a recent interview with The Independent, the Queen's Gambit actor opened up about his thoughts regarding the controversy. Melling shared that he can only speak for him and to him. The entire thing is pretty simple. For him, transgender women are women, and transgender men are men. He says that every single person has the right to choose who they are and to identify themselves as what's true to their own selves. He also admitted that he doesn't want to join the debate of pointing fingers and oscillating between the whole right or wrong argument. He feels he's not the right person for it, but he does believe that everyone's got a right to choose for themselves, and that's exactly how it should be. Every person in the world has the right to be whoever they want to be, and they shouldn't be limited to restrictive labels by language. That's a social construct anyway. Not to mention, other former cast members seem to have picked their sides too. Obviously, Harry's not the first person from the cast to give his opinion. Right when the whole thing started, Daniel Radcliffe put out a statement online where he apologized for the transphobic comments made by JK and expressed that he was sorry for the pain that the author's words had caused. He also added that if fans think there are characters within Harry Potter that they consider to be LGBTQ+, then they should hold on to that. Following him, Emma Watson and Eddie Redmayne also opposed Rawlings' views and sided with the trans community and solidarity. But aside from people who spoke out against her, some actors offered Rawling their support too. Helena Bonham Carter recently shared that the public backlash JK faced was horrendous and that she was allowed to have an opinion. Rafe Fiennes also shared similar sentiments, calling the response to Rowling's comments disgusting and appalling. Sure, everyone's allowed to have an opinion, but honestly, some tweets should just stay back in the drafts. Last but not least, how has the trans community responded to the Rowling situation? With everything that's been cooking with the transphobic comments, of course the community's got plenty of things to say. One trans person, who's also a fan of Harry Potter, wrote an open letter to the author, saying that they're trans and they understand J.K. Rowling's concerns about the position of women. But transphobia is not the answer. Back in 2017, Rowling also liked a tweet on Twitter that criticized the transgender rights movement, and even that was subjected to a lot of criticism and negativity. The letter Rowling had written to explain herself was also pretty confusing. According to the trans fan who wrote the open letter, they felt that it was strange that JK felt that the activism that fights for trans identity is seemingly a danger to hers, like it's an erasure of her biological sex. Trans folk have expressed paralytic fear following JK's remarks, and have called her words synonyms for having a cozy blanket being ripped away from their naked bodies. And on that note, that's a wrap for this video, guys. What do you think about Harry Melling's dramatic weight loss? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. Until next time, see you soon.